Hello, God bless. This is Daniel Maximoff, and today's vlog is gonna be about Chick fil A, the famous restaurant that somehow keeps popping up and up and up for no apparent reason other than their customer service and what they stand for. So, bear with me. You know, this is a new one. So, as you guys have been seeing recently, Chick fil A has been getting backlash from the cringe crowd or the tremendously pathetic crowd one or the other who keep accusing them of being anti-LGBT keeps criticizing what they believe in you know and pretty much exercising their religion which is something I'm very against because last I checked if you live in the United States or Western world for the matter you can believe whatever you want and you should do it in your comfort of your own home you can do it in your work you can do it in school I don't feel like there should be any um, you know boundaries on that especially when it's done you know peacefully because no, there's nobody throwing you know shoving down people's throats their religion or their beliefs or whatever so there's self-control as long as it has self-control it's fine but some people have a very you know some people have a um, have a serious problem with that statement they want to you know attack others who know who they themselves know cannot do anything about it so this is where strict place comes in Recently has been popping out that, you know, protesting now in Canada, these tremendously stupid idiots making um, sit-ins and protesting, calling, you know, calling Chick-fil-A that they're anti-gay anti or, you know, you, you know, the same people who have nothing to fight for, protesting a restaurant that requires cust great customer service to thrive. Because let's be realistic. There's McDonald's, Burger King, when you know, Wendy's. You need customer service in order for them for you to combat the other, you know, ch food chains and stay on top. So recently, Chick fil A I've seen have gotten positive reviews. You know, their customer service is good. Their food you know, rivals McDonald's, which is very interesting because I've never truly been into a Chick fil A restaurant before. But for me, you know, for reviews to be giving them an A plus so much that their food is now actually way better than McDonald's from what I heard makes me want to go to Chick-fil-A and try them out because I never really see them, you know. I've been around a Chick-fil-A restaurant but I've never really truly been in a restaurant. But from the reviews that they've been getting, which is five stars, there's nothing wrong. Their place is clean. Their food is good, their customer service is great, they close on Sundays because they believe in God, which is perfectly okay because at the last I checked, we are living in a Christian nation with Christian values and principles, so I don't really see um, the hula, hula baloo about it. And here we have Canada, Toronto uh, protesting these people, uh, you know, about them being anti gay or whatever and I was just when I saw that I was just eyes rolled face cringe like you know these are the same privileged assholes who wouldn't dare go to places like Somalia or Saudi Arabia Iran you name it they would never even bother to go there to protest true homophobia and true you know assault on gay people because let's be realistic under Islam there's, there's segregation and segregation causes gay people to you know so you know and there's people who conceal themselves so much they go mad if not in the when they expose them they're killed so uh, these people wouldn't go they wouldn't bother to go over there to protest what's happening so that would be the hard part actually to show your face in a, in a place where they wouldn't pat you in the back in, in st they'll stab you in the back actually legitimately stab you in the back they wouldn't pat you and say oh good job 
So of course they wouldn't bother to go there. So what do they do? They go after Christi Christianity and Chick Fil A that represents pacifness. You know, Christian. Last I checked, Christians are nice people. I have yet to see, you know, a violent one. And in truth, um, if there is a violent Christian, there is not really. That's not person is not a Christian, because last I checked, you shouldn't. You know, you in Christianity, you're taught to turn the cheek. You're not taught to fight back. You know, you don't. You're not taught to. You know, you're taught that God is in control. You shouldn't. You know, take matters into your own hands. That's not the way it goes. And when a person, and you shouldn't even hate on gay people, really, because you know, if you hate, there, there's how you cannot call yourself a Christian. And last I checked, Sodom and Gomorrah, God was the one, res you know, responsible for taking action. Same, same with the days of Noah. So never in the Bible does it takes, does it tells you, that does, does it tells Christians to take matters into their own hands. So there's that. And the, it's a pacifist religion that has adapted and changed over time. New and Old Testaments. Hello? So, of course, that's not good enough for some people. They want to persecute them, you know, even in places where they are allowed to peacefully practice their religion. So, we got Chick-fil-A protests in Toronto, Canada, which surprises nobody. Because anyone who is aware of Canada knows it's in the same soil as California so it surprises nobody and especially not me so these people are staging um, you know making you know signs that they're homophobic that they're anti LGBT and I'm seeing and there was a video conducted on that too and I saw that in the videos there were people still going into the restaurant ignoring them like or laughing at them either or I would do the same thing because seriously Anyone who opens a business knows that it's open for the public. Like you cannot, in customer service especially, you can have certain group of people being treated fairly. You have to have all people treated fairly. And I, and I haven't seen nothing from Shift Blade that I have seen so far reflects that they hate gay people. They're just passively closing on Sundays, opening it up, letting people in, eat, you know, get what you want, leave, and with a smile. Nothing out of the ordinary. I don't get this narrative that they're homophobic because clearly they're not. If they're getting positive reviews, and their doors are open to the public, there's no sign of silence that says no gay people are allowed or whatever. It's stupid. It's stupid. So this is where the cringe crowd steps in, and you know. What they want, they're the rhetorians, really. Them to close down, to be, you know, they want to expel all over a religion of peace. That clearly, there's nothing that they, you know, there's no, you know, there's nothing about Chick fil A that tells me that they're anti anything, you know. But there's people who are making it seem like they are. And I'm like, do you know even do you what's the your what's your evidence like what's what's your evidence because i haven't seen none it's just you know it angers me to see people being taken advantage and being bullied by those who claim that they are themselves bullied where in truth you're in, in the 21st century there's not in fact gay culture has has exploded you see gay people everywhere nowadays they even, you know, queer bait characters, you know, they create queer bait, queer bait characters for represent, you know, to represent them. Like, in the day and era where there's no, like, you know, I, I guess you're very privileged because with the Jussie Smollett case, hmm, and, you know, it's very, you know, it has become some sort of identity politics, so to speak. So it, can, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom a, a good time to be like that, like in the time that we're living in today, where you know, they're celebrated. They're even giving a month, so for people and for you, for people to get away f with homophobic comments and you know, remarks. You're a lunatic because we live in a day of social media where everything's recorded. 
and and can be put on blast for all to see so it really bothers me that you know this, there's these people are taking advantage of that to spread their authoritarian point of views and try to get people to close down ruin other people's lives persecute other people for their beliefs that are clearly ag against you know their you know their lifestyles but you know in Christianity they teach you again love your enemies you know they teach you to um, not only not to hate because if you know if you're if you hold bitterness chances are God is not gonna forgive you because you know there's nobody's has their lives purchased you know so they teach unity and they teach forgive and forget apologize I don't know how many times but it never does it tells you to you know spread hate and you know and attack others you know it really doesn't so I don't get the I don't get the backlash Chick-fil-A is receiving I hope they ignore these people because they don't know they have nothing to fight for and they have nothing to stand for because in truth if they would they would have do and done it in places where that type of protest is required not in Western civilization or they're clearly more privileged than any other group so with that being said this is my take on the whole shit for like nonsense like this has encouraged me all this fake protesting has encouraged me to visit a Chick fil a and see what the fuss is about because you know I have never been into one I've been around one but I've never been into a restaurant so all of this um, nonsense has encouraged me to visit a, a visit the food chain for the first time in my life so with that being said, God bless and I'll see you guys very soon.